Hey guys, I'm Justin Haar with the World of Allegorial Art. Today we'll be showing you a how-to guide on how to make this strap shield. With an optional spear notch. Tools you'll need. A tape measure, a knife, scissors, adjustable belt slash rope, and a marker. Decorative tape, any color you want your shield to be. Adhesive spray glue and tape. Building materials you'll need. Blue camp foam, which is found at Walmart for $8. One to one and a half pool noodles, depending on the size of your shield. And cardboard. Judging on how big you want your shield, you want to measure out the radius and draw a circle. Tie the marker off to the rope and use it like so to draw a perfect circle. After drawing your template, you want to start cutting it. You'll have to be making multiple copies, so once you cut out the first one, make sure it's up to your standards. This will be the template to cut out all the others. If you're having trouble cutting the perfect template, try cutting off as much excess in your way as possible, and then later trim. And remember, clean as you go. It makes the project a lot easier when you're done. When you're done cutting out your templates, it's time to start gluing. Remember to glue the entire surface, especially the edges. You want to make sure everything sticks together perfectly. Remember to wait two to four minutes for the glue to get tacky. You want to make sure everything sticks as soundly as possible. Once tacky, you can carefully now start to place all your templates together. Once all your templates are glued and put together, it should look something like this. Now it's time to measure where your arm will go. Take out a tape measure and first measure the center of the shield, marking it. Next, place your forearm down. It's now time to measure where the two ropes will be fed through the shield, one where you can hold for your hand, and the other to strap across your forearm. Now, after making your markings, it's time to stab through the shield using a pair of scissors or a knife, making a hole just big enough for whatever rope you're using to go through. After making the holes, carefully side the rope through each hole like this. One going in one way, and one going back in the other way. After feeding both ropes through, use some tape and layer it around each hole. Also, tape down any exposed rope on the front side. This will prevent any rope from ripping through the cardboard. Now go to the blue foam and cut out a rectangle big enough for your forearm. After cutting it out, glue it, and once it's tacky, stick it to where your forearm will be placed onto the shield. This will give you padding for your forearm. If not just wanting a rope handle, get a PVC pipe and cut the length of your hand. Feed the rope through the PVC and this could create a sturdier handle. Next, put your hand under the rope. Make it as tight as possible without cutting off circulation or giving you any discomfort. Once you do this, tie a knot, this will be your handle. Next, if you use a PVC handle, tape it down to the rope so it doesn't move or you can tape any of the other rope down to give your handle more sturdiness. And remember, cut off any excess rope. Use your shield as a template against your blue foam to make an exact replica of your shield with the blue foam. After your template's made, glue it accordingly. Once it gets tacky, glue it to the front side of your shield. Remember not to glue it to the side where we put the straps. Get some scissors and cut a slit through a pool noodle. Remember not to cut it in half. Once you've finished cutting your pool noodle, you can open it up and start wrapping it around your shield like this. Remember to take the beginning to make it easier to wrap. If you want to leave a slot for a spear, all you have to do is leave out a chunk of pool noodle. But make sure you put some blue foam around the exposed cardboard. Next, make sure to take down the pool noodle accordingly. Now it's time to decorate. We chose black because we had a lot of black tape. We also used some red to do the logo of Justin's character. We also glued down some cloth for the spear notch to make the spear glide through it better than it would tape. And there you have it, your very own strap shield. Hope this helped, guys. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like, comment, subscribe, visit our webpage, or just Google the word Allegory, A-L-L-E-G-O-R-A. Thanks.